Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, EFT. I'm Mike Wallen with the Serenity House of Flint and today we're, um, we're going to actually get into uh, helping you um, kind of work on some emotional blocks that you may be experiencing. And, you know, as we get into um, really, you know, providing um, healing in for our first responders, um, I, I would just like to touch on a, on a study that was completed um, with the Denver Police Department. Um, they did uh, a study a couple years ago, and the results, again, were incredible. The amount of stress and cortisol um, reduction within the uh, the actual officers and their family members. This was a study that was done um, really to see the reduction in stress, not only on the job, but that the officers were bringing home into the family and how that was impacting their families. Um, it was it was really an incredible um, study. Uh, I encourage you to uh, Google it and try to you know look it up online and if you want to get more information on it, but. You know, as a first responder, there's there's many different ways that we experience stress. Whether um, a police officer and you're the first one to the scene of an accident, or maybe you're an ER nurse or um, doctor, or you know someone that uh, is in the front lines of you know gunshot wounds or people coming in uh, to to emergency room or maybe you're uh, an EM tech, um, you know, and there's, you know, there's so many things that transpire as a first responder that really um, can get our cortisol level and our um, adrenaline going. And the thing about regulating the body is it's relatively quick to, um, to ramp up. So we, can hit the fight or flight state rather quickly um, as a survival technique, but then it takes longer, it takes the body longer to, uh, to get back into a state of um, balance again. So again, one of the uh, incredible effects of EFT is being able to bring the body back into balance. So, um, so I would just ask, let's get ourselves comfortable. Um, I would highly recommend whenever you're we're doing uh, tapping is to have a bottle of water. Um, water helps the hydration, um, helps the body to be more uh, conductive uh, for the, um, the processing of emotions and um, removing the blocks. If you find yourself during the, um, the, uh, the rounds of tapping of feeling anything very intense, please keep tapping um, because as long as we're tapping, we're releasing. Um, if we stop tapping, then the, the energy just gets moved around again. Um, so keep tapping. The tapping will release the energy um, and you know what it, it is in, you know, powerful as the emotions may be, um, they will end. So. So I just want everybody to think about a time, um, maybe in the last you know couple of weeks or the last couple of months, um, as a first responder. Um, and I just want you to think about approaching that 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 moment. Um, and again, it maybe it was a um, you know a, a, you know coming up to a car wreck or um, maybe a fire. Um, and just close your eyes and just kind of like you're watching a movie, let's, you know, just kind of, as you're getting ready and you're kind of playing through this movie and then you're, you're going to get up to this point where you're watching the events unfold, maybe you're getting out of the car or there's a gurney being wheeled into the hospital and then as you get to that point where you have an emotional spike, maybe it's um, the horror or it's um, disgust or maybe it's, it's fear, um, 
But allow yourself to kind of be back in that moment and to feel it. Now, I would ask that you write down in your own words what the issue is. And then, where in the body do you feel it? Typically, as you're doing this, but a lot of times, um, anger is stored in the liver. Fear is stored in the kidneys. Um, sometimes when we can't express something, uh, we'll get a sore throat or a cough, maybe uh, tightness in our jaw. Um, if we're feeling overwhelmed and we're carrying the weight of the world, we'll, we'll feel a lot of tension in our shoulders. Uh, traumatic things tend to get stuck in our hips. Um, things with stability, maybe in uh, aches in the, the legs and the knees, the ankle. But just wear, wear in the body. Um, and then, you know, give that an intensity level. Okay. Now I know you've been you've been practicing all week, so we're going to uh, and I'll go through slowly, and we're going to tap. And I want you to say your your setup statement. Use your own words. I'm just going to simply say this problem, so that you can fill in your own. That way, everybody watching today or and participating can address an, an issue in their life, because I want you to feel the effects of EFT, and I want you to feel better, and I want to reduce the, the amount of stress in your life. So, okay, let's get started. So we're going to start out tapping here, and again, use your words, your statement that you wrote down. Even though this problem, I love myself wholly and completely and unconditionally. Even though I, this problem, I love myself wholly and completely and unconditionally. Even though I have this problem, I love myself wholly and completely and unconditionally. This problem. This problem. This problem. Under the eye. This problem. Under the nose. This problem. The chin and dent. This problem. The collarbone. This problem under the arm, this problem, and again the hand, palm facing me, inside, closest on the thumb, this problem, index finger, this problem, middle finger, this problem. Pinky, this problem. And then that spot between the pinky knuckle and the ring finger knuckle, just back that soft spot there, we call it the gamut point, this problem. And then while we continue to tap, we're going to look straight ahead. <clears throat> we're going to close our eyes, open them, look down hard right, back to center, look down hard left, Back to center. We're going to do a big circle from the ceiling to the floor and back around to the ceiling. And then we're going to go back the other way. Eyes all the way down to the floor and back up to the ceiling. And then we're going to hum. <laughs> and we're going to count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to hum again. <laughs> and then we're going to come back up to the top of the head this problem. 
beginning of the eyebrow, this problem, the side of the eye, this problem, the bottom of the eye, this problem, under the nose, this problem, under the chin, this problem, the collarbone, this problem, under the arm, this problem, the thumb, this problem, the index finger, this problem, middle finger, this problem, and the pinky, this problem, and we're going to take a deep breath. And just focus on your body where you are feeling your problem. Has it moved? Has it re relaxed? Has it been relieved? Just kind of notice what's going on in your body and the intensity of your problem. And then let's look back at your initial intensity level. <clears throat> and then let's compare where we were when we started to where we are now. Hopefully you went from a eight, maybe down to a six. Um, the idea then would be to do another round of tapping until we get it down to a one or a two. However, <clears throat> You may have not had any <clears throat> relief, and you may have had thoughts creep into your mind like, this won't work, or this, this feels stupid, or something along those lines. And that's perfectly normal. So what we do with that is we put that into a, a setup statement, and we we tap on it. So we start over. Even though I feel like this isn't going to work, I love myself wholly and completely and unconditionally. And we go through the process again. And that eventually will resolve itself because, again, <clears throat> many of us have a lot of judgments around our emotions. Um, we live in a society, especially for men, where we're only allowed to be afraid. Um, or we learned that if we expressed emotions, then we got hurt or rejected, maybe abandoned. And so we've learned to not express our emotions. But they are alive and well inside of us. They are in our bodies. They are causing stress. They're causing issues in our relationships with our health. Um, and <clears throat> the link now between repressed emotions and our health, um, those links are becoming more and more uh, prevalent. Um, the studies are showing that trauma, um, especially early childhood trauma, has all kinds of health implications. It can shorten our lives by as much as 20 years. And we're finding that EFT can relieve um, a lot of these symptoms. They can bring our bodies back into balance. We're finding that EFT is also effective, again, at the level of our uh, DNA markers. They've identified 72 DNA markers that are impacted by performing EFT. Um, including the immune system. And remember, the immune system works best when it's balanced. There's a lot of things out there right now about boosting your immune system, but that has side effects also. 
So we're, we're striving for balance, and when we're in balance, we heal and we live at peace. So again, I want to thank you for joining me. I encourage you to go through, and if you've had uh, a number of things come up this past week, um, to use the, the, the method that we went through today. And we look forward to seeing you again next time. Again, I'm Mike Wallen with the Serenity House of Flint. Thank you and have a great day.